Bruno Fernandes, options left and right. Plays in Rashford's! Lovely finish! Moving forward again, Bruno Fernandes, can he get a shot away? McTominay into the D! Really yes, gets it! Is. Scott McTominay, the big game player, with the big goal! Goals there from Scotland's Scott McTominay and of course England's Marcus Rashford to kick off today's United Daily. Now of course the attention will be on England against Scotland tonight in the Euros. England looking to make it two wins from two and of course Scotland looking to pick up their first points of the summer. Well Marcus has been speaking about coming up against his United teammates if both feature tonight. No, I spoke to him the other day, um, you know it's going to be uh, a different experience for us, um, but it's definitely one that I'm, I'm proud of. Um, I'm pleased for Scott and his and his family. Um, you know, we've been playing together since we was since we was kids, since we was eight or nine years old, ten years old. Um, so to be playing against each other in, in one of the biggest competitions in, in football is is an amazing achievement. Um, and yeah, we're just looking forward to it. Um, but hopefully, we, we win. <laughs> Um, so Alex Ferguson is a massive hero of you and has been so supportive as well in you getting school meals to kids. Um, you're going to upset him if you win this. <laughs> yeah, um, yes, so Alex, um, yeah, he'll definitely be upset. He's a, he's a passionate guy, um, but you know, we have, to, we have to do our best to try and win the game. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're fully concentrated on, on the game and you know, we're, we're going to do our best to get, get, get another touch? three points. What's that? Has he been in touch? No, not recently. I, I was speaking to him when he brought his his film out, and yeah, that was the last time I spoke to him. But you know what a what a person, what a, what an individual. Um, and yeah, there's only like I said about Cristiano. There's only good things that I can say about Sir Alex from from my own experiences and, and just just watching him closely. Um, you know, growing up, there's only good things that I can that I can say about. Him. Meanwhile, Scott McTominay has been talking about the influence that fellow Scott and former United midfielder Darren Fletcher has had since joining the club's backroom staff. Yeah, Sharon Darren's been absolutely amazing whenever he's, he's come in. He's been a breath of fresh air. All the lads have really taken to him. In the, in his, he's a proper player, he's a proper football man, same as Michael Carrick, Kieran McKenna, the manager, Mike Feeling. They're all proper football men who know the game inside out and, and have had vast experience throughout many different leagues. So, yeah, for, for myself, it's, it's brilliant. I've got some of the best guys who I could possibly wish for to, to help me with my game. So you have to soak it in and, and uh, maybe one day if I'm in a position like that, I'll say I was learning from, from them and then the cycle continues. If you want to watch that full episode of our fan Q&A with Scott McTominay, that is available right now uh, on the app and on MUTV as well. Well, speaking of Darren Fletcher, the club's current technical director is the focus of this week's podcast replay. Of course, all throughout the summer, we've been showing you back some of our iconic podcasts. And here is Fletch talking about that scene with Roy Keane and, of course, as well, that infamous MUTV tape. Well, first things first, the headlines that Roy Keane watched the game and give a, an analyst's view of the game. So some of the words he used were in reference to an action in the game. Yeah. So, for example, if he was talking about somebody's defending in that moment, he'd call it lazy defending. The headline in the paper was, Roy Keane calls that player lazy. So I think they had a lot of been misconstrued from it. From me... I seen it as what he said was me in instances in the game in terms of like that wasn't good enough for me and he was completely right. And Roy, it was Roy Keane challenging me as a Manchester United's captain and it was something I was used to in the dressing room but the, the long and short of it is I knew Roy Keane liked me and that was his way of, of showing that he liked me was because he knew I was cap capable of more and wanted to challenge me and he would say yeah I was a little bit harsher there on Fletch but that's because I like him. Well, the best place to listen to and watch the United podcast is over on the official Manchester United app where there is a brand new podcast section, Darren Fletcher and loads of other guests there to listen to if you aren't already a listener. 
Also on the app as well, recently we've been playing the United Predictions game. Now that the domestic season is over, we have finally crowned our winner. And a big congratulations to Kartik Sundar from New York. He's been speaking to Niall about his win. And your yeah. grand prize is a flight from where you are in New York City to Old Trafford and you get hotel accommodation in Manchester as well. How excited are you about that? Oh, I'm super excited. and I'm very thankful to Man United for allowing me to bring a guest as well. So, yeah, I cannot wait to experience Manchester and, of course, the world in British weather. Well, Kartik, congratulations, mate. Well done. Enjoy your prize. Enjoy the trip to Manchester. Fingers crossed it doesn't rain for you, but if it does, I'm sorry. At least you're going to get an authentic uh, Mancunian experience. For those of you that didn't get a prize this year, don't worry, because we will, of course, be back with United Predictions again next season when the Reds kick off in August. Well, that's it for United Daily this week. We'll be back on Monday again with another roundup of all your United news.